which is called the secrets of koan practicing. As you know, koan means public case. Why it is public case? Because we can bring that case into the public and we can do the cross-examination. Mostly Kuan is talking about ancient case. But if you know at this very present moment, this is also already ancient moment. So we can bring the case today, which was made of yesterday, also tomorrow, or the day of tomorrow, next generations also can use the case. What is the point of koan is living world. Living world only can be existed by the resurrection. It's like a dead man's singing and a flower blooms in the ash field. Our flesh affairs, dead mind, dead body. is the source of the living mind and living words. Looks like life and death is completely disconnected. But you know what? If it is completely disconnected, You cannot say even it is disconnected because you are saying disconnected in itself is the connection between life and death and yes and no. But it has also problem also because this connection also want to stand up by itself like a death and life or daytime or nighttime. In that point, how could all sages wanted to bring out the very truth which is not depending on even past, present and future? those kind of time beings and they showed up how could you use the truth every single moment to understand that one to comprehend that one you should be blind. You should be closing all kind of senses and feelings and movement and stillness. And all different kinds of relative ideas. Even eternal moment and the present moment, those kind of ideas too. Mostly when we close down, like a turning off the lecture, lecture here in this room, all lights are gone and we cannot see anything each other in the night time. But when we open your eyes very carefully, 
still we see the darkness. If we see the darkness very clearly, we understand even daytime when we close our eyes, still we couldn't see, but still we saw the inside of eyelids also. This point is talking about seeing, the subject is seeing. And former one was connection. There is a topic that we change it to understand the, the very Zen that we want to talk to tonight. If we talk about the enlightenment between Jesus and Buddha. Until now, we have thought that, oh, Buddha's enlightenment and Jesus' enlightenment and all other sages' enlightenment, they are not, neither same, neither different. No same, no different. Of course. Then what is it? Until now, nobody really concluded what is it? Clearly. We can see many rumors or whatever. Oh, Jesus was Buddhist practitioner. Or he traveled to India. Well, it's possible. But I'm not talking about that kind of things. The thing we can say, neither A nor B. It is suggested to tell the next one, final words, the resolution, conclusion. So we are asking, what is it then? So, what is it then is important. But if you can bring proper answer, that answer should cover number A and number B and C, D, E too. If not, still we will be confused without conclusion. We cannot apply that point in our single, very different affair in a day, even day also. So, that is what we want to bring out to the public to get some very clear resolution between the Buddha's enlightenment and the Jesus enlightenment. Are they same or different? Neither same nor different. Then what is it? If we can bring clear conclusion, I think it is very revolution on this human world. So it is very important class, I think. <laughs> important moment. Yeah. Until now, there are many barriers physically. Mountains and rivers covered up each other. They never exchange the information with each other to protect their people or their uh, regime or whatever. But now, even though physically blocked through the internet or through many uh, uh, intelligence network, we know everything inside and outside. Yeah. Even regions and philosophies and uh, ideologies. So, 
I think this is time that we should understand the very one that we are talking here tonight. That is also we can understand the secret of side A and side B and the C, D, E to the Z I mean every single different karma and different concept and different cultures whatever it means you can see at that point every single moment of your life even at the edge of the last breath if it is not working I don't think uh, this class is worth So other things we already know, who is Buddha like, who is Jesus like. Yesterday uh, when I slept, I turned on the radio. Radio channel was uh, Christian channel, continuously preaching and, and questioning, answering the people. It was good to me because understanding more uh, cultures of the Christian, Christianity and so on. This morning, early in the morning, I was so surprised. About 4 a.m., almost time to wake up. Very familiar story was blowing out from the radio what is this preacher say was he was doctor someone you know you should meditate on the living world that is the only way to understand the jesus <laughs> Surprising! <laughs> I never heard it before like that. Meditation on the living world, right? But I wondered, is it a part of a culture in Christianity? I bet so. Yeah. Everybody believed the living world is important. Yeah. When we see Jesus teaching, from the beginning to the end, he did a lot of work only to complete the living world. Even through his crucifixion and the simple dialogue and his actioning, uh, reacting, whole story is the composition of the song of the living world to me. Also, when we see the Buddha's teaching, there are so many sutras he brought out to the world. But finally, when he transmitted to his first disciple, Mahakasya, there was living world. The, the true eye of true Dharma, right Dharma. And he transmitted that one to the Mahakashapa, which is not depending on even teaching or learning or words or phrases. So Buddhist people, especially uh, Zen people, they have been practiced the living world many hundred years, more than 2,500 years. <coughs> Through the lineage, uh, 
patriarchal lineage. Jesus, Jesus teaching. I wonder if Jesus had a wonderful student like Mark Kashapa. I think it's obvious. Hey, you, I'm interested in this one. You know, let it go down through the generations. He would say like that, but I don't know, because of all students are fully enlightened, while no students got enlightened, I wonder which side it is. But fortunately, there it was, there is, one small monk came from Korea. He's talking about Jesus Kwan. I think Jesus understood after 2016 years. <laughs> Even though it is not Poa Sunim, but anybody, when the seasons are coming, seasons are coming, somebody will make a junction of the living truth. In that point, we started with a very small, you know, regional area started from Old Town Alexandria. Yeah. Here, uh, Dr. Mills, uh, Charles Mills, he, he knows everything about Old Town Alexandria history. Yeah. We started at the King Street, 1014, King Street. From the beginning till now, all we have been practicing was the living word only. We never expected a big temple or buildings. We never expected a big assembly, many people. But we understood when our mind is very bright, like a lighthouse in, in the dark ocean. Even though we are not advertising much, people will see the light from the far distance and they come to us and they practice the living world. That's what I believed. Yeah. So here in this class, uh, everyone is very important together each other yeah. for example even though he taught he gave a lot of Dharma talk to the students finally when he passed away Ananda asked, Lord Buddha, we understand and we memorize your 49 years Dharma talks, part by part, we can make sutras. But when we are making sutras, which word? should be put at the head of the sutra. At the time, Buddha just simply answered, Thus have I heard. It's like Ananda heard, have heard, whole Buddha's Dharma talks. Buddha just simply, Thus have I heard. Buddha's hearing and Ananda's hearing and other students' hearing. It's hard to understand. Looks like no connection at all. But like a preacher talked this morning, why don't you meditate if you don't understand on the living world? That's what we can get. 
what really Buddha meant with that kind of answer for that kind of question. Yeah. When Jesus came and then he started to bring out the dark, uh, living world, there are many questions, answers uh, from Jesus too. Most of the conversation, questioner were not really succinctly asking. Means the questioner didn't know what are they asking. That was the point. It is like our daily life. We are eating, and we are sleeping, we are working, we are thinking, we are feeling, we are driving. We do so many things in a day. But most of our affairs, we are losing consciousness without getting the point. So very severe moment of using the point. The point is dialogue. Your own question, Lord, everything, not even your karmas. Their question, laws, L O A D S, laws, all other neighbor beings from the beginning to the end, and all universe also. You can check out many times Jesus emphasized because most of people they brought piece of question in some purpose. Yeah. For example, when Jesus asked, should he pay tax to God or not? He asked the question. Yeah. He forgot. What is he asking? So Jesus said, bring me a denarius, and somebody brought a denarius, and what's on it? Tell me. The guy saw the denarius, oh it's a portrait of Caesar's, and Jesus' answer is so clear. Give God what's God's. Give Caesar's what's Caesar's. Yeah. This is a simple uh, case that you can talk about it. But when you see many conversations of Jesus, mostly going on that way, I will follow your sir wherever you go. Birds have nests and foxes have caves. I have no place to lay head. And he said to the other person, Follow me! And the guy said, Oh, my father passed away this morning. Let me bury him and follow you. Let the dead bury the dead. So the questioner, he really don't know what is the father, what is the bearing, and what is the, what is the dad. Like the guy asked, should he pay tax to God, 
Of course, we are going to church on any places. Everybody talking about God, 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 God. Jesus clearly emphasized that is not real God. And he showed up, what is the real God like? What is the real living God like? And living word like? And God is the living word. He said like that. Student asked the master Liu Man in uh, uh, Zen Kuan, patriarchal Zen, Liu Man. Not even a thought has a reason. Is there still a sin or not? Master replied, Mount Sumer. Student also he didn't know that. What was he asking actually the question? Of course, if you talk about questioner didn't know anything about what he was asking, this is a the point only. <coughs> it's like a, our whole body, there's many parts. You can put it up, your hand, or your your clothes. You can pull your ear even. We can put it up every part, single different part. This is only talking about the questioner didn't know what 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 he was asking. That part we are talking about. And then, even though you put it out, that part. The question didn't know the, what he was get, asking. It's a not real living word yet that you understood. Still, it is concept. You are trying to make a principle. Only that eyes, you are talking <coughs> on the living word. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But. When you are re-examining, after checking out your cracked eyes or not, everything will be exposed. So what is interesting and what is important is, in Buddhist <coughs> living world practicing process, we had the checking moment of the corner. Yeah, we call it interview of the corners. And Friday night we are doing it, that too. It is open anytime when you really got the clear answer of the living world, koan, and you can check out anytime. So, Master Yuman's answer, Mao Sumura. It's very hard to understand. Looks like no connection. But when you meditate on it, like the preacher, it is coming out from your own heart. So the practicing of a living world is so simple. It is, I don't think it's different from East or West. As the preacher said, why don't you meditate on the living world? You can meditate on the living world. Koan. Yeah. But what is very clearly we should share is, share is, koan interview. Yeah. Do you have koan interview, living world interview in Christian tradition? I couldn't see it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
So the teacher should polish it rather than any other people very clearly. They should be inspected. There is the reason Buddha transmitted to the lineage mat masters. If you uh, didn't practice from the teacher with interview, you there is no way that you can give interview because this is so different from your usual idea. If you don't have that opportunity, now you will waste the rest of your life because life is so fast. Yeah. And always you think is there should be some God or Buddha or any good thing that we can hold my hand hold my, uh, their hands, they will save us. No, it never comes to you. Because the God is only within yourself. The Buddha is only within yourself. Even within or outside or holding or not holding, that kind of things also. Your own composition. Also, it is my own composition tonight. Yeah. Even though you are not trying to hold anything, you don't have to die with not trying to hold anything. You should understand trying not to hold anything itself, the concept itself, you are holding. Yeah. If you have a small idea of those kind of things, you cannot be free from many different pictures in front of you. Yeah. So what do you want to do? Now you need a living world. Resurrection word that you can polish even at the last breathing. Last breathing and the first breathing. breathing. Also, this is, this is not my own composition. It's a very natural and reasonable idea. If we see clearly, that's where we create a mistake continuously. And that's where we trap ourselves continuously. Yeah. I caught three mice yesterday with a sticky you know, board. My, my sticky. And I released one by one yeah. at the far distance. One uh, near the Walmart, there are a lot of things to eat. <laughs> and then the other, you know, on the safe way, also the other. <laughs> and the last one, I almost lost it, because he's so fast. He says, I released it. Okay, he uh, escaped uh, around our, you know, Sangha, Baltimore Gen Sangha. But amazingly, after the last one escaped, no mice came again. I think he told his friends or family, <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, don't go there. <laughs> Well, it is interesting. But when I saw the my, mice, they are not really going far away. It's like a human being. You know what? Not only mouse trap is the trap. Their trap is the concept. They cannot escape from them. Yeah. So we also Even though we say, I do not have 
any trap that I set up by myself even. It's August. That, that is his trap, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the same situation in the meditation also. Now, first time you are learning how to meditate, how to heal others, and how to do proper things. You can check out many show windows of meditation, you know, shop, shopping centers, and the reasons also. Finally, it is going back to you. But wait a minute, this talk from all talk, talks about my original mind. Original mind has everything already, right? Before I understood this, and I, after I understand this, my original mind should be not different at all, right? Yeah. Then, even this idea of original mind, if I set up, and if I didn't set up, what can I do now? Gradual going back there. So look at Jesus. No! I have no place that you can follow me completely. Yeah. He never finished. It's like our last breathing also. Okay, all concept. I don't want to hold it because God is within myself. That's your holding completely. You cannot go further. We cannot, you cannot get thoroughly without separating the living world of ancient, you know, sages. Yeah. Now what do you want? You know what? You should have a good friend. If you meet a good friend who is giving you the guidance, good guidance, guides, instructor, you know, to you, good friend, who is giving the way at the very edge of 10,000 feet high situation. Then you will see that our every single sparkle moment is kind of standing at the top of a thousand feet high pole. That we can check out. This guy is just as usual. Oh, you look great. I will follow you wherever you go. <laughs> She's completely denied. And he is same situation as some person who is at the you know at the last breathing. But Jesus gave away. There is a living world. What is living world? It's a very common, usual, and it is never separated from the questioner, original question. Even. Follow me. Yeah. When my grandmaster was very, uh, you know, getting old, uh, and he said, "Ouch, ouch!" Every day, student asked. Master, what is so hurting like that? Is your body hurting or is your mind hurting? Master said, what are you talking about? My body is not hurting and my mind is not hurting. No! And question again, then what is so hurting like that? He said, ouch, ouch. As Jesus was asked, I will follow you, sir. No, no, no. Finally, he said, follow me. This master used the third living word. Of course, Jesus follow me is very special. And the master's ouch, ouch is very special. It has a point. 
is a point of res resurrection, if you can talk about resurrection. So, many cases, looks like a very similar, but not. Very different, but not. Then what is it? Apple is apple and orange is orange. That's what we can say. What does the mean of Jesus saying? follow me, even though he didn't have any place to lay his head. I would say, well, there is no mountain, golden-haired lion, golden-haired lion, climbs up, climbs up every day. What does the mean of human's answer? Not even a thought has a reason. Is there still a sin or not? He said, Mount Sumo. What does it mean? I will say, the sin is as high as Tower of the Babel, B-A-B-E-L, right? If you want to more about the point of living world, the point that all human beings' original mind is meeting in your heart, and the point we can bring down to the end of this generation, to the end of all beings' life. And if you want to understand the point, now, as the preacher said through the radio, I would also say, why don't you meditate on the living world? I think it's a great concept, even, that we can possess and we can share together right yeah yeah I saw our uh, website I have a, a Korean website I will make more language in uh, German or you know French or um, in Chinese greater we can yeah, make our website uh, through the many languages yeah. and then more people will understand. This is simple and this is like a topping of everything that they understand. And it's not so difficult. If you catch the point through your daily life or daily religious process and daily prayer or daily meditation or daily contribution to the others, it should be so wonderful. Yeah. There are many mindful contributors offering their body and mind and everything with a f full contribution. For ex example, Mother Teresa. Did you say Thre Teresa? Teresa. She's like an angel on this earth. But in some reason he was, she was a little bit wanted to tell us was, it should be very clear 
in your heart. I think you can help those kind of amazing, great, generous, holy people also. And also we can help if someone is talking to us. I am really enlightened. We can invite them here and we can exchange the point in the public. So it will be become it will become public case also. Of course, even my friends here and myself. Also we can anytime exchange. So it will be the public case. Rest of our generations. Thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to this class. The secret was already fully exposed. But if it is exposed, it is not secret. In that point, you can see the seed, apple seed in the apple, an orange seed in the orange. But some watermelon doesn't have any seed. So where is it coming from? I will bring the same quotation as Korean Zen master Sungwar. He said, when there is no seed, it has been sprout, uh, sprouted. That's why you can eat a seedless watermelon. <laughs> I think a giant they have it, right? Sometimes, yeah, giant and safe way. Yeah, I'm expecting the very hot summer we can share the watermelon together. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.